Hello everyone, this is Christian from Global Reach, and today we're talking about data streams in Google Analytics 4. So what you typically have with GA4 is you have your website and you have your Google Analytics property, and your data from your website goes to your property. And that's usually how it goes. That works fine for most people and most organizations. What happens sometimes, and this isn't super uncommon, is you have a brand and you have multiple websites underneath that brand. So some approaches that companies take is to have one property for each brand, but some um, companies prefer having all their data consolidated. So what you could do is you could add multiple websites to one property so that you can have all your data in one spot in one Google Analytics 4 property. So this video uh, will show you exactly how to add multiple data streams to your Google Analytics 4 property. So let's go ahead and jump into our GA4 property and let's talk about specific step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. Okay, so welcome to our Google Analytics 4 property here. Uh, before we proceed, one thing to know is that Google has some pretty clear guidelines on adding data streams to Google Analytics 4 properties. What you want to do is you want to try and cap it at three data streams per property. Uh, this is just because Google says that if you go beyond three, this is where some issues and uh, inad inadequacies in reporting can arise. So you want to stick within that three range. You can add up to 50 data streams to your property, but generally speaking, for the best results, you probably want to stick within that three data stream range. So just be cognizant and be aware of Google's guidelines before proceeding with this. So now in terms of the step-by-step -step guide, uh, what you want to do is you want to open up your Google Analytics 4 property and you want to head down here to the admin section. And once you are at the admin section, you want to go under data collection and modification, and you want to go to data streams. So once you click on data streams, what you'll see is you will see your main data stream. So this is the data stream that you um, initially set up with your Google Analytics property. And let's say we have globalreach.com and we have globalreach2.com. Um, so if I wanted to add globalreach2.com, what I would do is I would go up here to add stream, I would go down to web, and I will read the warning here because Google gives us a notice before we do this. And this basically tells us that in most cases, a single web stream just meets your measurement needs, and that's totally valid. Uh, so just make sure you understand the, um, the warning before you proceed and understand the notice before you go ahead and do this. So now that I've understood it, I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. And now it's telling us to set up our data stream. The first thing you want to do is you want to put in our website URL. So we have an HTTPS, which is a, a secure website. So I'm going to put in the website name, which is globalreach2.com. I'm just copy and paste it and put it in there. And now that I have this in here, uh, for my stream name, I'm, going to, I'm just going to call this globalreach2. So now I have my website URL and my stream name. I'm going to go ahead and create and continue. And what this does is it creates a brand new data stream under the data stream section. Now, you have to install this uh, code onto your, your second website like you did for the first website. So what we have here is a Google tag that I could install on the back end of my website. Or what I could do is I could take the measurement ID and install it through Google Tag Manager. So that's also a valid option. But either way, I just need to install the code on the website like I would do for any other property. So once I've closed out of this, after putting the code on our website, what, what I'll do is I'll check back here to see if data has been received. And then I'll wait one or two days and I'll come back to the property and look for signs of uh, new data in my property. So some tips for you to look at this is, if your number of users and number of events have increased dramatically, it probably means that your two websites are kind of converging into one property and that your data streams are working. Another way you can do is go to your pages and screens report and look for the page titles on both websites to see if they're appearing in the same report. So that's one thing you can do as well. But generally speaking, uh, that is how you add multiple data streams to your Google Analytics 4 property. Uh, thanks a ton for watching. I hope this, this was helpful. Uh, feel free to watch any of the other tutorials on our page.